Uh, hey guys, welcome back to to another lesson on the geometry uh, course. Uh, in this lesson, I'm looking at an important chapter of class seventh NCRT, the congruence of triangles, uh, which uh, unfortunately is not very well understood by a lot of people. So, so I thought that uh, I will make a video which will uh, uh, which will help a lesson, uh, which will help all of you to get uh, your uh, concepts absolutely clear about the congruence of triangles. So uh, uh, you are on the Arun Sharma Academy, and uh, of course, this is also content which is developed for MindWorks. And we are talking about the congruence of triangles in this in this session, which, as I said, is basically a class seventh NCRD chapter. So uh, the first thing I want you to look at is uh, what do we mean by congruence? Congruence hota kya hai? What what is what is what is exactly congruence? So, when congruence ki baat karte ho, when you talk about congruence, uh, congruence basically means the equality of two things. When when two things are exactly same as each other, you 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 talk about congruence. So, if I if I let's say pick up uh, these two batteries, uh, they are congruent to each other because of the fact that they are exactly same as each other is, right? In terms of dimensions, in terms of all the angles, and in terms of heights and and diameters, etc. So, these two are essentially congruent. Uh, objects in that way, and of course, in geometry, uh, you you start your uh, uh, your discussion and your study of objects from lines and angles. So, two lines which are which are exactly same is are are is would, would be defined as congruent lines, and two angles which are exactly same would get defined as uh, congruence or, or congruent angles, right? But we are talking about uh, when we when we study congruence of triangles, we are talking about the congruence of two triangles. And essentially, when you talk about the congruence of two triangles, there are four methods uh, to prove or to identify the congruence of triangles. Let's have a look at each one of them, and let's try to understand why each of these methods works when you talk about congruence of triangles. So, what are the four methods of congruence? The first is the SSS congruence, which is the short form for side side side. And what SSS congruence says basically is that if three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of the other. The two triangles will be same or congruent in in that in that sense. So let's have a look at look at what I what we mean by this. So why does the SSS congruence actually work? Let's have a look at that. So imagine uh, you have these three lines. Uh, you can see line one, two, and three. Three lines uh, which are uh, uh, shown on this plane. Uh, now, if I, if I want to construct a triangle with these three lines, I'll have to make sure that the intersection of the first two lines will give me one intersection point. The intersection of the second and third line will give me a second intersection point, and the intersection of the first and third line will then automatically get frozen. The moment I freeze two, uh, two of these uh, uh, lines together. So in this case, I've, I've put the three lines in this form, whereas in this case, I've put the three lines in this form. So basically, what you what you notice is the triangle that you see here. Of course, there there might be a little bit of um, uh, uh, play in terms of the lengths I've drawn in the in the two figures, but broadly I've tried to keep the lengths constant. So if you look at the base, which is horizontal uh, in this uh, figure, in the previous figure that that base is is slanting down towards uh, uh, towards towards the uh, right side of of your screen, and uh, the other two uh, lengths uh, are placed on that as the base, and you can see that these two triangles basically look the same if you just Keep rotating one of them, you'll get the other one, etc. And so also, if I keep those three lines same and uh, I, I draw draw it this way, this is also actually the same triangle. So why the SSS? Uh, uh, why the SSS uh, uh, logic works for uh, equality or congruence of triangles is because uh, if you have three three lines or imagine them them as three sticks of equal length. Then you can only form one in one one particular way in which the angle will get defined for the three side, three angles of the triangle, and there will only be one way in which you can you can uh, you can create that triangle so that the third point uh, fits uh, uh, on top of the base so that it exactly creates one angle one triangle. So that's that's the uh, congruence of uh, or the SSS congruence logic. The second uh, congruence uh, is essentially the SAS congruence. Which is also referred to as the side angle side congruence. Now let's look at this slightly closely. Imagine uh, you have these two lights, whose uh, lengths are fixed. 
right these two lines whose lengths are fixed and uh, let's say i also define for you the angle between these two lines the angle in which these two lines have to be uh, placed with respect to each other so if the moment i define it an angle you are forced to put it in this form and the moment you put it in this form the two the two sides uh, whose lengths are fixed the moment you put it in this form with the with the fixed angle in between them the third side and its length automatically gets defined as you can visualize very clearly in this picture so this is the evidence that tells you that sas is enough to to uh, conclude or or to create the triangle uniquely and hence if you are given one side an angle and the third side or the second side or in other words if you are given two sides of the of of a triangle and you are given the included angle between them uh, you get the sas congruence working where you say that uh, if i can prove that two corresponding sides of two triangles are equal and the and the angle between those two sides are equal then my two triangles will be same because you'll be able to draw only one triangle in this in this situation as far as you keep that constant so the third congruence uh, is the asa congruence the angle side angle now this is interesting to understand again in this uh, what uh, what uh, the theorem says is that if you know a side and you know the two angles which should be made on the two ends of that side with this first side uh, with the second side and the third side let's say you know the length of one side you know the length of one side and this is given to you that this is this has to be the exact length that you see here this has to be the exact length of this side it was given to you and you are told that you i'll also give you the two angles which have to be on the two sides of this uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, side on the two ends of this of this side so that you can draw the the remaining sides based on those two angles so the moment i define those two angles your figure starts looking like this this is how your figure starts looking like and as you can see if i have defined uh, the angle on the left side and i have defined the angle on the right side automatically what happens is that the angle uh, defining these two angles creates a fixed point on top at which these two red lines will will merge and this will be the reason why if you know the angle a side and the second angle on the other other end of the side if you know these three things the congruency is proved or the congruency is guaranteed because you can only form one triangle or one one uh, shape and size of triangle with with the angle side and angle known so this is your next congruence and uh, what what is important is that uh, you need to understand that the ssa uh, uh the ssa uh, rule does not work the side side angle rule does not work so sometimes people make a mistake of of using side side angle as a uh, proof for uh, congruence it is not you have ss and you have uh, uh asa and you also have sss but you do not have ssa so why does ssa not work so if you have a look at uh, look at this uh, this picture what you will see is that uh, in this picture what i have done is i have fixed the sides the value of two sides right so side side angle ssa means side side angle that means you don't know this the angle in between but you know a different angle so in this case what i have done is let's say i have frozen the the length of two sides and uh, then i freeze the angle which is outside these two sides let's say i freeze the angle with the third side of the white uh, of the white line and if i fix fit the fix that angle then this yellow line can as you can see can project itself and and uh, merge with the with the red line at 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 a point in this figure but if i change that uh, the orientation of the red line and i make it flatter you can see that this is also a triangle that can be formed by i mean your red line your white line and the and the yellow angle all three are fixed here but you can see in spite of fixing all three in both cases you can see my third sides my my red sides uh, orientation being different my third yellow side the length of that side and where it will cut the uh, red red line will differ so you can see that if i know an angle 
not the included angle but there are no two sides and not the included angle but any any of the other two angles of the triangle then i can make many triangles out of those uh, out of those out of these three informations and hence the ssa uh, congruence rule does not apply and it does not work right so that is about it and the fourth rule for uh, congruence is the rhs congruence this is specifically used for right angle right uh, right angle triangles and this is the uh, red as the right angle hypotenuse side congruence what does this say uh, i think this picture will make it absolutely clear to you the rhs congruence is if you have a right angle uh, in a triangle if it's a right angle triangle and you have one side defined and the hypotenuse defined rhs means right angle hypotenuse side that's what the full form of rhs congruence is so the right angle is is defined it has there has to be a right angle uh and of course in a right angle triangle the right angle will always be between the two sides which are not part of the hypotenuse so you've got one side defined and the hypotenuse is defined so automatically what will happen is from from the base side if you draw the vertical up the dotted line as you see in this figure if you draw the vertical up it will cut the uh, the the hypotenuse at a specific point and you cannot draw any other triangle with this with this information and hence uh, uh, as you can see here the hypotenuse can cut the vertical side only at one point so that's one specific point so as far as you define the base and you define the hypotenuse the triangle orientation can be different please understand that i could i could have made this base tilted downwards i could have made this base tilted upwards but the triangle will remain same it will just be a rotation of the of the uh, triangle that you see here so this is the rhs uh, congruence and uh, these are the four congruences that you need to work with now to to supplement this uh, if you are a, a school student of class 7th i would uh, recommend you to solve the ncert uh, uh, chapter uh, of congruence and uh, solve the exercises of that we will be coming up with solution of the exercises in the arun sharma academy also and if you are a competitive aspirant you are trying to prepare for any of uh, your uh, aptitude exams or uh, competitive exams and your maths is weak so the the starting point of your preparation starts with uh, getting your maths school maths organized so even if, even if you belong to that category i would recommend a very quick visit to the ncrd of class 7th after this theory and and just just solve the chapter uh, in conjunction with this uh, with this theory do a quick quick solving of that if you are a competitive aspirant of course if you are a 7th standard student you would might want to spend some time on the solving of it and uh, I, we know that uh, all kinds of uh, students are uh, part of our channel and will will continue to associate with this channel so please do like share comment and we'll bring out much more content uh, as we uh, go along this journey do spread the word around about the arun sharma academy and about mindworks and uh, i would like to wind up my lesson here thank you so much bye bye